Today we're gonna see some of the best optical illusions and check if they actually work. Look at this image, which line do you think is longer, the upper one or the lower one? This is the famous Mueller glider illusion. Both lines are actually of the same length, it's just the difference between the inverted arrowhead. Look again. Now even when we know both lines are actually of the same length, we still continue to see one longer than the other. And this is the result of our innate instincts and these instincts are often used by the ones in power to manipulate statistics to influence public opinion. Oh, this is my favorite one, the Ebigoff illusion. When a friend showed me this, I was ready to bet $100 if the right circle was bigger. Thank God I didn't have the money then. Oh. Because both circles are actually equal. Epigos discovered that a circle surrounded by smaller circles appears larger than exactly the same one surrounded by smaller circles. In other words, proximity influences how we perceive things. Interestingly, this illusion has a stronger effect on people from Japan than from the UK, women more than men, and social scientists more than mathematicians. This is a fun one, the lilac chaser illusion. Stare at this cross for 10 to 20 seconds. Do it, it's amazing. You'll begin to see green dots chasing the lilac ones. If you do it right, eventually you may even notice all the lilac ones disappear completely. This phenomenon is often referred to as the Pac-Man illusion because it reminds people of the Pac-Man game where a character needs to eat all the dots inside a maze. This illusion illustrates the aspect of visual perception where our brain automatically tries to smooth out the changes between the images and tries to create a sense of continuity and stability in the world around us. There is no definitive explanation as to why this phenomenon occurs but studies show that this phenomenon not only occurs in our eyes but partially in our brains too. And for some reason, blurry images and low contrast images make the effect stronger. You might have seen this in some science museums, the Jastro illusion. Look at this image. Sure, the upper arch appears to be shorter, but your eyes are once again deceiving you. Curved lines are tricky. There is no mutual agreement as to why it occurs, but some scientists believe that it has something to do with the difference in radius. The longer curve influences the shorter one and makes it look even shorter, and vice versa. We've all heard of the Ponzo scheme, but this is the Ponzo illusion. We're done with dots, circles, lines and arches. Now can you tell me which rectangle is longer? This illusion tracks back to 1913 when Mario Ponzo for the first time demonstrated that the perception of an element's size depends on the background behind it. Converging lines create an illusion of depth and our brains deduce that the rectangle that is farther away from us must be larger, while in fact both are exactly the same. Curiously, people from the rural and non-Western regions are less susceptible to this illusion, as well as people who have a larger primary visual cortex, the area in our brain that processes visual information. Now, for the final illusion, 